Hello everyone and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Rhys and I'm going to be your moderator today. We're going to kick off today's session in a couple of minutes. We're just waiting so everyone has a chance to join. In the meanwhile though, we'd love to hear from you. So let us know where you're joining from using the chat or the comments depending on, on uh, what platform you're watching from. And yeah, tell us something that you'd like to learn from today's webinar. Uh, if you have any questions uh, for our hosts or our panelists today uh, throughout the session, please let us know in the comments and we will save them for the Q&A. So yeah, no need to wait for the Q&A to ask any questions. Um, other thing to note, the session will be recorded and the recording will be uh, available for playback on uh, the social platform that you're watching from. And it will also be emailed to anyone that's registered for the event. Um, so yeah, please go register for the event if you haven't done so already. Um, brilliant. I think that's everything from me. I'll be back shortly to uh, repeat these messages for any new joiners, but until then, enjoy the background music. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Reese, and I will be your moderator today. We're gonna to kick off today's session in about, I don't know, 20 seconds or so. Uh, we've just been waiting, so everyone has had a chance to join. Uh, let us know where you're joining from using the chat or the comments, depending on what platform you're watching from. And yeah, tell us something that you'd like to uh, learn from today's webinar. A uh, few notes for any new joiners. The session is being recorded and the recording will be emailed to you uh, in the next few days. That's only if you've registered. Um, so if you haven't registered already, head over to Data Camp forward slash webinars and yeah, you should still be able to register for the event. Um, if you have any questions for the Q&A section or any questions in general, please ask them in the comments or the chat and I will save them for the Q&A section. So yeah, ask them as soon as they spring to mind. Brilliant. I think that's everything from me. So I'll now hand over to your host for today's session, Nathaniel. Nathaniel, please take it away. Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm Nathaniel Taylor Leach, the social impact manager here at Data Camp. I run our two corporate resp social responsibility campaigns, Data Camp Classrooms, which is for teachers all around the world and their students, and Data Camp Donates, which is targeted towards nonprofit organizations focused on helping disadvantaged individuals gain the data literacy skills they need to uh, attain high paying jobs in this new economy. Uh, thank you so much to all of the people around the world uh, from Africa. We have joiners from Nigeria. We also have joiners from Central America, Mozambique, Indonesia, Bangladesh, uh, Kentucky here in the States. So thank you all for uh, coming. I really appreciate it. The best thing about Data Camp Classrooms and Data Camp Donates, it's 100% free. This is a true scholarship program. And today I have a very, very special guest, one of our Data Camp Donates partners uh, to talk to you about the amazing success that he and their learners have experienced with Data Camp Donates. So without further ado, let me introduce him. T today's uh, presenter is Alonzo Quijano Ruiz, and he's an economist, financier, statistician, linguist, and musician. Through his work with LIDE and the New Dimension Scholarship Program, he leads development projects focused on vulnerable communities and works on the dissemination of evidence-based policy in Ecuador. Alonzo holds a double degree in economics and finance from USFQ and a master's degree in musicology from Jiamen University, China. He specializes in the use of experimental methods and artificial intelligence for the evaluation of the impact of programs focused on reducing poverty. He is an alumnus of MIT's micro master's program in data, economics, and design of policy, leveraging his expertise in policy research to enhance the lives of vulnerable communities in his home country by improving policies. Alonzo, thank you for coming and welcome. Alonzo, I'm, I, I can't hear you. 
<laughs> Sorry for I, I forgot I was muted. So thank you very much, Nathaniel. And as you said, I'm co-director of the Ecuadorian Development Research Lab LIDE. And uh, I'm director of the New Dimensions program, our business intelligence program for women of disadvantaged backgrounds here in Ecuador. So in this webinar, I'm going to talk about our New Dimensions program, our partnership with DataCam through the DataCam Donates program, how we are utilizing the, this partnership to enhance the curriculum of our program. And finally, I will discuss some of the results of our program and show some testimonials of our students. And this is a great place if you want to learn or if you want to learn, if you want to learn about DataCamp Donates and if you want to partner with DataCamp or know someone who wants to partner with DataCamp, we're going to talk about that today. So uh, now I'm going to start sharing my presentation. Uh, uh, Reese, if you can help. Let me know when you can see my screen, please. Can you yep, see my screen see. now? Okay. Yep, see. Thank you. So uh, to start uh, to kick things off, I would like to introduce our organization, LIDE. We stand for Laboratorio de Investigación para el Desarrollo del Ecuador. And uh, that translated into English is the Ecuadorian Development Research Lab. Our goal is to find social issues affecting the Ecuadorian community, including poverty, gender inequality, social disparities, by using data to inform policy making. Uh, in the past three years, we have published five research papers on various topics, um, including reproductive health, COVID and women empowerment. As part of this job, we work with governments, nonprofits, and for-profit organizations. We also work with universities and employ college students who help us with our research work and manage our outreach programs. And um, uh, in so in 2022, uh, we decided to partner with DataCamp. And uh, DataCamp Donates uh, is DataCamp's CSR initiative that provides free data training for those who need it the most. Um, their mission, um, so they, they have more than 200 partnered organizations and they are present in more than 100 countries. And until now, they have helped more than 85,000 students through scholarships uh, to unemployed and disadvantaged individuals. You can apply to uh, for DataCamp Donate uh, using, uh, with the link that is provided here. And we're going to talk about this program uh, I, by the end, um, and through all the presentation. Now, thanks to this partnership with DataCam uh, and generous funding by the U.S. government through the U.S. Embassy here in Ecuador, we founded the New Dimensions program this year. This is a one-year business intelligence program for women of disadvantaged backgrounds. We uh, now until now we have more than fifty uh, students, uh, women of disadvantaged backgrounds, and our pool of students includes unemployed women, single mothers, racial minorities, women with disabilities, and also members of the LGBT community. Now. I would like to introduce one of our students. She is Tamara Quijano. She's one of our youngest students. And despite being so young, uh, I think she's 19 or 20 and uh, studying uh, a bachelor in publicity, something one could say is totally different from data analysis, data science. She's been perform performing outst outstandingly and uh, I would like to show you her testimony. Please, Reese, if you can help me. 
Mi nombre es Tamar Quijano, soy de la ciudad de Guayaquil, Ecuador. Soy becaria del Laboratorio de Inteligencia del Desarrollo del Ecuador, donde soy estudiante actualmente Inteligencia de Negocios. Yo apliqué esta beca debido a que siempre me ha llamado la atención lo que es codificación y análisis de datos. En especial cuando veía las gráficas y los reportes de Power BI, yo decía, oh, es, es increíble, a mí me gustaría hacer eso. Y bueno, gracias al apoyo y las clases que nos han brindado, puede hacer posible eso, es como un mini logro cumplido que he tenido. Y bueno, poder ser parte de esta beca no solo ha sido de ayuda a nivel económico, sino también a nivel estudiantil, a nivel profesional y personal. Me ha permitido poder ampliar mi visión, poder superar los retos con valentía, poder seguir adelante y afrontar las situaciones con pasión y perseverancia. Sobre todo, quiero agradecer a Datacam por haber donado las licencias de estudio que han sido un pilar fundamental durante este proceso de aprendizaje y estoy segura que sin su apoyo, tal vez esta oportunidad no hubiera sido tan completa y tan inmersiva durante cada módulo. Adicionalmente, quiero agradecer a todos los docentes del IDE quienes imparten y dan clases con carisma, con cariño, con pasión, en especial el profesor Ángel Bravo, quien durante cada clase enseñaba con un ánimo increíble, con una carisma que podía llegar a las demás personas, hacía entusiasmarnos por lo que estábamos aprendiendo. De igual manera para nuestros docentes que son TA, quienes están siempre para ayudarnos con cualquier duda o inconveniente que tengamos con algún tema y sobre todo con Marco y con Alonso, quienes han sido uno de los pilares fundamentales también en este proyecto. Siempre han estado para nosotros durante cada proceso y nos han escuchado, nos han apoyado, nos han comprendido en ciertas situaciones que se nos han presentado. Una vez más quiero expresar mi gratitud a todas las personas que han hecho posible este increíble proyecto, que el Señor los continúe bendiciendo grandemente y que tengan un excelente día. Dios los bendiga. Buenos días. Thank you. And uh, I want to know if you can see my you can see my screen now. Yeah. Yep, all good. Okay. Thank you. And uh, if you have any questions, please uh, write your questions. Uh, you can also write your questions in, in Spanish if you want to. I also speak some Portuguese and I, I lived five years in China. So you can even write your questions in Chinese. Um, I can read Chinese as well. So write all your questions. I want to hear all your questions. Uh, and now, por qué Ecuador? Why Ecuador? So, um, so for... Um, so for those who are not very familiar with our country, uh, we are located here in South America. We're a diverse country and we're known for our rich biodiversity and stunning landscapes encompassing the Andes region, the Amazon rainforest and the Galapagos Islands. Our culture, cultural heritage is also notable with a mix of indigenous, Spanish, and Afro-Ecuadorian influences, which are very evident in art traditions, art, and cuisine. However, as many developing countries, we are not strange to uh, gender inequalities. So according to data from the 2021 Labor Survey of Ecuador, only around 20% of jobs in science are occupied by women. 80% of women aged between 25 and 35 are unemployed. And uh, gender biases and the disadvantaged status of women in education, that meaning women are usually less educated than men in our country, limit their possibilities to pursue careers in the field of science. So this was the inspiration of the, of the New Dimensions program. Our goal is to promote gender equality by teaching these women industry valued skills and support their entry into the job market. One of our strengths is our curriculum, which is based not only uh, on hard skills, but also soft skills.
So on one hand, students learn the basic abilities and concepts using data analysis and how to apply them in the real world problems um, like Git, uh, SQL, R, Python, Power BI. And uh, for this, our team did a rigorous market research by web scrapping all data related jobs in Ecuador. We identify the skills, software, and programming languages that are most demanded by Ecuadorian companies. And uh, on the other hand, we have our soft skills component. To support students entry into the job market, we also included soft skills uh, development through projects and training sessions. For example, students will not only practice how to code a scatter plot, but also how to communicate its message in oral presentations or written reports. Additionally, during the program, students attend regular in-person workshops on resume and write interview preparation, job seeking, career guidance, and coaching. And uh, why, why we thought this was very important. As you can see in, this, in these two pictures, uh, we have Tamara as well uh, um, doing an interview, uh, like uh, uh, an interview with one, one of our instructors. And in the other picture, we have our students. They are preparing their resumes, uh, uh, helping each other, how to improve each other's resume. So. Uh, why we thought this was very important. Keep in mind that these women are vulnerable and they face significant information barriers they, uh, due, to, due to their disadvantaged backgrounds. And they, uh, when we initiated the program, many of them uh, lack essential skills, uh, such as crafting a compelling resume or navigating online job application process. So to empower these women for the job market, we conducted a series of, of in-person workshops and provided with them with individual career, uh, in, individualized career counseling, equipping them with the necessary tools to succeed and confidently apply for jobs. Now, so how, now, how does DataCam, now the question is how DataCam fits into this new dimensions program. Our program uh, utilizes a blended learning approach. For example, on one hand, they meet every week with their instructors via Zoom for their traditional place-based education. Outside the classroom, however, students learn with DataCam, which as you know, if you're DataCam users, uh, has an embedded coding platform for doing exercises and which students can use to watch lectures and practice their skills in short data tasks and projects. Now, our, our co course is designed like in, in the following fashion. Students practice two hours on DataCan for every lecture hour, offering a large number of opportunities for practice and application of knowledge. This is particularly useful. So if you have a program and it's underfunded, it's very useful as you can, if you can, if you cannot pay as many instructor hours as you wished, you can fill those hours with data can. So for example, if your teacher is uh, teaching students how to code uh, um, a plot using Python or R, you can use DataCam to teach them how to code the most advanced plot and use the instructor hours to teach them the foundations. Um, DataCam also serves as a structured content guide for students, meaning that students can complete the relevant courses before attending classes. Our curriculum is built upon data cam skills tracks. And these are these courses, uh, courses and exercises are designed to help learners build expertise in a specific domain. For example, the, the, the module on statistics or model on statistics, statistics 
is um, designed through the uh, using the data cam skills skill track on statistics fundamentals. So this way, our students can follow each lecture and they can prepare before each lecture using data cam. And we have seen great results as students come to the class well prepared with some previous knowledge and they can take advantage of the lecture even more. This, so as said, this approach facilitates students learning and utilizes data camp as a tool to ensure students' preparedness before each class. We have been surprised uh, at the speed and depth at which our students grasp the concepts when they review the material before the class. Remarkably, even learners with zero coding experience um, and background have made impressive progress through the program. This experience has led me to believe that DataCam is most effectively utilized when students engage in pre-class practice rather than just using DataCam as a post-class review uh, for the instructor's teachings. Finally, uh, DataCam, if, if you have DataCam donates or DataCam, uh, if you're a DataCam partner um, through the DataCam program, DataCam provides powerful insights and metrics that help us track the learning progress of our students, which I will show a little bit uh, in a while. So um, now we'd like to talk about our program's results. And in this picture, so we have our, so our students uh, presented their Power BI uh, project combined with SQL. So this is uh, Angel, uh, our SQL instructor, and, uh, and three of our students very proudly presenting their uh, SQL and Power BI project. And uh, we, we are very happy and proud of our students and the progress they have made in just a few months. And that is because, greatly because of data camp, because they can spend so many hours uh, practicing. And the feedback that data camp provides is so valuable because you don't need to have, a, have an, an instructor telling them uh, what the mis mistake they made was. And now with the if you can, if you are using DataCamp now, you can, you may have seen that DataCamp has added a chat GPT uh, feedback. So students can, uh, don't waste time uh, realizing what their problem is and they can learn fast and continue doing as many exercises as they can. Now, this is a, uh, some of, these are some of the metrics that DataCamp provides. And uh, this, was, this was in the past um, nine and three months, I think, nine months, I think. Um, so this is the leaderboard on the left, the leaderboard. These are our top students. I mean, everyone is a good student here, okay? But the leaderboard just, pro, uh, I, I can just put a seven in, in a screenshot, but we have so many good students. Um, it shows how many courses they have completed, how many chapters they have completed, the last time they logged in to data camp, and how how many uh, how much XP they have, they have earned. And XP stands for experience points, which is a way of measuring a learner's progress and engagement with with a platform. On the right, uh, so sorry, first, down below, we have our adoption score, which is 99%. This means uh, when we uh, give a student a data camp license, if they are using that data, data camp license to learn. So how many of our students we have given licenses to uh, have started learning with data camp? And we keep, or we keep uh, an excellent record here in this metric because our students are just so, so, so diligent. Um, so on the left, you have two plots, which are, which is the total XP earned and the total time on the platform. So um, we receive the, uh, re we received the data cam uh, donates partnership in September 22, but we didn't have as many students to give accounts to until March 
2023, which are in which our new dimensions program started. So between September to February, we uh, we were using uh, DataCam for our interns, our research interns who were learning, who support us with our research work. And then in March, in March, our program started and students um, started learning with DataCam. They started with uh, uh, Excel, then moved to SQL, then uh, Excel Power BI SQL. Then now, now they're studying R in July and they took a break. We let them to uh, take a break. So that's why uh, the total XP dropped a little bit. But in uh, August, they will start learning uh, a lot and earning a lot of XP back again. And finally, uh, the last point is the total amount of time they spend on the platform. So if you are a DataCamp Donates partner, so you will have access to all these measures that you can use to track your students' progress, and which is very important to see how engaged they are if, and if there are any fixes that you have to make to your program. So along the way, we have realized, and thanks to these metrics, a lot of program, uh, problems that we have had and we have learned how to fix them. So we are keeping improving. So uh, DataCam, um, so DataCam support goes beyond just like providing licenses. So I just just a few days ago, uh, Rogelio, which is uh, the a senior data scientist at DataCam, gave a lecture in Spanish because he's from Mexico give a lecture to our students on how to start their career in data analytics. And our students were very happy, very pleased to, to listen to him and learn from his experiences um, as a data scientist. So uh, we are very grateful to DataCamp for all these opportunities um, that they are providing to our students. And we are sure that they will take the most advantage of them um, to build their career as business analyst. Now, uh, so now I would like to show some other, um, some other testimonial of our students. Uh, Carolina says, DataCan provided me with invaluable hands-on experience and exposure to various exercises and tools the Adeco workshop equipment with essential knowledge on crafting an outstanding resume, ensuring that I'm well prepared to excel in future job interviews. Adeco is a famous human resources firm, and they provided several workshops on how to build uh, their resumes and how to prepare for job interviews. Uh, Catherine Del Valle says, the employability workshop enabled me to acquire a wealth of knowledge necessary for crafting a compelling professional resume. Through the workshop, I gained invaluable insights into my own areas for improvement, empowering me to strengthen those weaknesses. And um, this presentation was, um, was made last week, but yesterday, just yesterday, Catherine told us that she had been applying for so many job positions and she yesterday she finally got an offer uh, at a famous consulting firm international consulting firm and uh, we are very happy and very pr proud for her because she is very very diligent very very hardworking, and she deserved it very happy for Catherine and Erica Martinez said says the New Dimensions Scholarship helped me to uh, secure a position as a business intelligence trainee at Banco Pichincha, which is the largest bank here in Ecuador. Also, I learned skills such as resume writing and job interviewing, enhancing my overall professional readiness. And uh, finally, um, I would like to show one last testimony from our students. Um, this is a testimony from Maria Belen Rosero. She is, um, sh uh, she really had a tough time before the, before she joined the program. Um, she 
just after she graduated, she became pregnant of her first baby. And um, um, this, she couldn't find a job and her situation was aggravated by the pandemic. And uh, well, this is her testimony. We, uh, raised... Hola, soy María Belén Rosero, tengo 28 años, soy de la ciudad de Quito y estudié ingeniería matemática en una de las universidades de mi ciudad. Uno de los motivos más grandes para aplicar el programa New Dimensions fue porque cuando terminé la universidad me quedé embarazada. Y es triste porque en la sociedad todavía existe el rechazo a las mujeres embarazadas, en el mundo laboral también. Entonces eh, yo fui parte de esto y esto me motivó a seguir estudiando a seguir buscando, a seguir construyendo las bases que yo necesitaba para el mundo laboral. Y por eso apliqué el programa y tuve la gran oportunidad de ser seleccionada. Y por esta parte quiero dar las gracias porque es un programa maravilloso, tiene una organización increíble, maestros excelentes, excelentes profesionales, que me han ayudado a mí, eh, no solo académicamente, sino a buscar eh, oportunidades y laborales. Poder aplicar todos los talleres que recibimos de aquí, todo lo que nos dan en los talleres, me ayudó a mí ahora a conseguir un empleo en una de las distribuidoras farmacéuticas más grandes de mi país. Para mí esto es un orgullo, eh, porque es mi primer empleo, después de que salí de la universidad y quedarme embarazada, eh, no lo pude hacer y ahora lo tengo gracias al programa y eso realmente es bueno porque no todos te dan la oportunidad cuando eres una persona vulnerable. Y esto lo hicieron y las herramientas que tienen también me ayudan a mí a crecer personal y profesionalmente. Eh, me ayuda a perseverar porque sin duda la práctica que tenemos es buena con la herramienta del Data Camp. Eh, yo he podido mejorar y pulir mis conocimientos. Eh, es bastante completo el módulo, los módulos que hay aquí. Y me gusta, me gusta mucho. Gracias por estas licencias eh, que nos pudieron proporcionar a mí y a mis compañeras. Porque sin duda eh, lo estamos aprovechando al máximo. Bueno, sin dudas, gracias nuevamente. Y que el diplomado continúe. Y gracias a DataCamp por estas oportunidades. Gracias por ser parte todos de que las mujeres podamos salir adelante, de que no existe barreras de género y sobre todo que brindan la mano a las personas que realmente la necesitan. Gracias. Thank you uh, for listening to her testimony and thank you for listening to uh, my presentation. Please, if you want, if you if you want, you can follow us uh, on social media and you can contact us if you want to support the New Dimensions program. And if you or if you know someone who who would like to support this program, there are many ways you can help. Uh, disadvantaged uh, communities, not just here in Ecuador, but everywhere in, in the world. And please, if uh, um, we're going to start answering the questions, so uh, write your questions. And um, now uh, let, I, I would just stop sharing my screen. All right. Thank you so much, Alonzo. That was really, really amazing. Thank you to everyone who's uh, who has questions coming in. Uh, we will get to them. But first, I just want to tell you a little bit more about Data Camp Donates and Data Camp Classrooms, which will probably answer a few of those questions. Okay, so Data Camp's mission is to democratize, democratize data science education. And Data Camp has helped over 850,000 students and teachers from over 180 countries build their data science and analytic skills for free. We do that through two programs. The, fir the first, the one that uh, lead that New Dimensions is part of, is Data Camp Donates. Uh, we've donated, uh, as he said, over 85,000 scholarships in three years, and about 35,000 of those are active right now being used. Uh, we, need, we teach people the skills they need to compete in the 21st century economy for free. 
We believe in equity. We believe talent is everywhere, but opportunity is not. And that's why we're giving data camp away for free to those who need it most. Uh, how does it work? We don't accept individual applications. Rather, we accept applications from organizations who want to uh, transform the communities with data literacy. So it's one full year of free unlimited access for organizations and their learners. Qualified organizations dis distribute to members of disadvantaged communities, just like Alonzo did. And then our partners report back success stories and collaborate on promoting the, pro the program. This webinar is a perfect example of that. And uh, the organizations that are eligible are nonprofit organizations focused on job placement or data, student clubs, and companies freely supporting people in need. Uh, and it's a young program, but huge impact. Uh, we had over 11. So, you know, to keep in mind, we just saw a tiny snapshot of the whole Data Camp Donates program, about 20 or 30 scholarships all told. Uh, 11,000 Data Camp Donate scholars have been active in the past 30 days. Um, we have over 200 partner organizations, you, and our partner organizations are spread out nicely by continent. But on the bottom right chart, you'll see that our actual active learner base is concentrated in the countries and parts of the world that are the poorest. Uh, so Africa, A South Asia, Southeast Asia, um, and the Middle East. Uh, we want to see uh, much further growth in Central and South America however, and that's going to be a big focus for us going forward. And we hope this webinar will encourage more uh, nonprofit organizations in Central America uh, and South America to uh, reach out to us. And uh, I also want to announce that over 1,600 jobs, internships, promotions, and other awards have been attained by Data Camp Donate scholars uh, in the history of the program. Those are the amount we've been able to verify anyway. Uh, over 400 last quarter alone. Last quarter was a really big quarter for us. Um, if you have want to learn all about it, read more uh, success stories from our amazing partners and see the amazing statistics that we're put, our learners are putting up, I encourage you to read the Q2 2023 Data Camp Donates Digest on our blog. So now let's talk about Data Camp Classrooms. This program is very similar to Data Camp Donates. However, it, it predates it. It's almost as old as Data Camp itself. This is the program for teachers to apply to. And instead of a full year, they get six months of access that they can give to all of their students. Uh, we've uh, over 50,000 classes and over 12,000 schools so far. It's some of the most trusted names in education. And what can you teach using Data Camp? so much, over 400 interactive courses, 90 over 90 projects, skill assessments, curated learning paths. We just added a new certification in data engineering, which is uh, very, very exciting. All of this comes free with Data Camp Donates and Data Camp Classrooms. And, uh, and this is also since uh, the same sort of features uh, that, uh, so when you get a Data Camp Classrooms or Data Camp Donates uh, partnership, you get access to all the most important features that you need to uh, to maintain your class, motivate your students, and track their progress. So, which social impact program is right for you? Okay, so Data Camp Classrooms is designed for college and university professors worldwide, as well as high school or secondary school teachers in, let's see if I can uh, call out all the flags correctly, the United States, France, Canada, the UK, Belgium, uh, I believe, uh, Poland, Czech Republic, Turkey, and Australia. Okay. So you must be an active teacher employed at a degree giving institution. Uh, and, uh, and then once you're approved, you can invite all of your students. Now, if you work or volunteer for a nonprofit NGO, data camp donates is what you should be applying to. Okay. So volunteers or employees of these charitable organizations, However, if you are a student and you belong to a student club that's officially affiliated with your school, you can also apply to become a Data Camp Donates partner. Many Data Camp Donates partners are actually student clubs. Okay, so thank you very much. Uh, that Now we are going to go to the questions. Okay. Do you want to read uh, some of the questions? Or? Yes, I'm going to show the first one. Hola, Alonso. Este programa es posible para mujeres de Venezuela. Is this program possible for women from Venezuela? Um, este, este programa actualmente es para personas, pueden ser venezolanas que viven en Ecuador, uh, pero este programa es específicamente para personas que estén residiendo en Ecuador porque tienen que asistir a talleres en, 
este, presenciales, de cómo, cómo hacer tu CV, cómo prepararte para una entrevista. Entonces, no está abierto para personas en, en toda América Latina. Sin embargo, como decía Nathaniel, si es que tú conoces una organización en Venezuela que sea eh, sin fin de lucro, puedes pedirle que aplique al programa este, de Data Camp Donates y ellos como organización pueden distribuir eh, Data Camp en Venezuela. Entonces, este programa no es para Venezuela, el que yo presenté, pero Data Camp Donates es para todo el mundo. ¿Ok? Entonces, pues, esa es una forma en que tú puedes conseguir eh, 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 brindar licencias a venezolanos en tu país. Y si eres venezolano viviendo en otro país de, de América Latina, puedes buscar ahí una organización que, que tenga un programa que te apoye. So, <laughs> I just said that uh, our program is not for, uh, it, it is for anyone who is living in Ecuador. It can be uh, Venezuelans or any uh, people from any nationality living in Ecuador, but you must live in Ecuador because they, there are in-person workshops that they have attend, they have to attend. Okay, but I also mentioned that if you are living in Venezuela, you may have, you may uh, find an organization, non-profit organization that would like to partner with DataCamp through the DataCamp Donates program. Thank you very much. Yes. So this specific partnership is targeting women in Ecuador. I don't think I have any partner organizations specifically located in Venezuela, but I would love to have some. So if you know of any, that would be a good match. By all means, refer them to the Data Camp Donates application form and get them to apply. I'll also send you the link to one of our larger partners uh, uh, called Data Science Femme. Uh, they're located in Colombia. However, they are giving out They are giving out data camp donate scholarships all over Central America. So I encourage you to check them out as well. Uh, when they will have scholarships available, they will be uh, giving them out. Okay, let's go another question. This is from Kumbo. How long does the program run? And do you how do you track students' performance with an emphasis on skill acquisition, considering that we're living in the era of AI? So uh, the program runs for a year um, and the students are in the middle of it. So meaning that they will finish the program around uh, November. And uh, we use, uh, as I showed, we use DataCamp to track our students' um, engagement with, uh, with the platform. But we also use uh, regular assessments uh, by our instructors to track the their the acquisition of knowledge, uh, if, okay? If you could say, call it like this. And uh, yeah, so it's very interesting. Uh, we are living in the era of AI and um, we also, DataCamp also has many um, AI courses, right? Uh, we, they took a ChatGPT course uh, and uh, we encourage them to use AI for their own learning. I also add on to this that Data Camp makes it really easy to give assignments to learners right in the platform. Um, you can set an assignment, you can set, tell someone, uh, oh, an individual person, a group of students and a team, or the whole group, you all need to complete this course, this skill track, um, this project by this time. That way it lives on their homepage, easy to see. They'll get automated email reminders to complete it. And then Alonzo on his end can very easily see who completed that assignment and when. Uh, so for so it's very it makes it very easy to uh, uh, it makes it very very easy to do that. Okay, next question. From Jared. Data Camp, what really inspired you to start on empowering women? Uh, I'll start that off, but uh, then I would like to like you to also give your perspective on it. Uh, data science and really most STEM careers, most STEM industries just are are dominated by men. And as we're trying to get towards equality, right, with everything being equal, in order to do that, we need to put in place equity, which is means giving people what they need so to try to level the playing field. So. That's why we love working with partners that are specifically focused on uh, trying to upscale and help women out. Because the reality is of the eight of the 
let's say 35,000 data camp donate scholars that currently have access to scholarships, the majority of them are men because that is, uh, that is how it historically has been. And men are men historically, and especially in places around the world that are still uh, starting to embrace the, the digital revolution. Um, they're not necessarily being brought up in school to think of this as even a potential career. Uh, and it may not even occur to them later. So we want to try to buck that trend. So whenever we can uh, we partner with organizations like LIDE, like uh, Women in Data, one of our flagship partners, which has chapters around the world uh, that, are, that are trying to help out women, uh, we think it's a great idea because it's just going to bring more diversity. And, and men will always be incredibly present in the data camp donates and, and all of data science. So this is our attempt at trying to make it about 50-50. And uh, I want to add something to that is that um, apart from the New Dimensions program, which is targeted only for uh, to women here uh, that I presented, we have another a scholarship program who is for which is for men and women. And um, when we uh, launched that program and we were receiving the applications, so this program was for men and women, right? We received the we received. Eight, uh, I think 80% of the applications were uh, from men and just at 20% were women. So you, you can see the disparity in the number of applications you receive uh, uh, from different genders. So that's why we want to try to make it 50-50. Okay, thank you so much. Um, another question, this is a... A great question from Edith. How long do organizations have to be in operation before they can apply for a data camp donate scholarship? This is a really great question. Uh, there is no hard and fast rule. Um, however, we would like to see if you are a no if you're applying as a nonprofit organization, we want to see that you are registered with the government as a legal entity, ideally as a nonprofit organization. Now that process varies wildly from country to country. Uh, and uh, some in some countries, that's a very easy thing to do. Other countries, it's very difficult. They have to have been in operation for several years in kind of a legal gray zone before they, the government will even consider it. So we take all of those, we take every single application uh, uh, on it, on its own terms and on its own basis. Uh, but yes, uh, ideally, the, the the organization has been in has been around for let's say at least half a year or a year and has some establishment. Uh, and uh, all Data Camp Donates partners do need to have their own active website that's well managed that they have control over. Or at least, if in the case of a student club, a web page on the university's official website. Um, that's very important. So, you know, if you're just starting out, you haven't gotten figured out that 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 uh, that website yet, and you're just working off of some social media accounts like a LinkedIn page or Facebook, not time yet. Invest you know, it, you can, you know, and it doesn't need to be the best looking website in the world. And it could even be a free website. Uh, but there does need to be an external place so that when I link and show off all my partners, when they go to you, their people aren't just getting uh, sent to a social media website, they're actually getting sent to a, a real website. And I believe uh, Reese can put in the link uh, for all of the P data camp donates partner organizations on the site. So if there are any individuals here who aren't directly connected to any nonprofit organizations. Um, so like we have a question here from Rachel, how to apply. So again, if you're applying on behalf of an organization, go to datacamp.com slash donate slash apply to apply to data camp donates. Um, if you are just an individual looking for one of these data camp donate scholarships, please go to our data camp donates partners page and go through that list. Uh, click on all the links, try to find organizations that are helping people out in your uh, area, in your community. Uh, they're separated by nonprofit partners at the top and then our student club partners at the bottom. If you're a student, definitely check those student club partners first. Um, and uh, I would love to hear from more students in Latin America uh, who, uh, have, who have data science clubs, computer science clubs, and would love to get data camp uh, for their community. And I also wanted to add something to that is that um, regarding the, the previous question is that I personally personally know the hardships of creating a nonprofit, at least here in Ecuador, it took uh, more than a year of legal work. So um, 
so if you are looking for uh, lo looking for creating your nonprofit, I will encourage you to continue um, to continue. Don't give up. Uh, but if you uh, but a, like a more convenient way, if you cannot create a nonprofit, a more convenient way to get access to like free data camp, uh, 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 a free data camp program is through the data camp classrooms uh, program. OK, uh, you don't need to be a legal nonprofit. And uh, and it's, a, I think, very fast and convenient application. Yeah. And again, from Maria, um, again, we have partners all over the world in many, many different countries. So please check our partners page. Um, and, uh, I, and I do have partner organizations in India as well. Uh, so, so please take a look at that. Okay. Um, why don't you talk about that? Um, please put in more questions in the chat as, as, as we talk. But uh, um, what? please tell us about the data. And you are right. Um, depending on the country where you, you're in, you don't necessarily need to be an official nonprofit organization. Uh, but we need to see. Uh, and, but in that case, there needs to be a history for your organization. And we need to see your other affiliations. And we need to see that there's progress being made towards that eventual application. Uh, but the website is non-negotiable. Um, but yeah, tell us about what, how did, what did you think of the data camp donates application process? How does it compare to, let's say, writing a grant proposal, for instance, or, or, or other things in your, in your, in your field of work? Well, so we have submitted several grant proposals, for example, just the new dimensions program, uh, became, uh, um, became a reality because uh, we uh, won a grant. So comparing to a grant proposal, I think applying to the new uh, to the data camp donates program is much, much, much easier. So uh, it's very fast, it's very straightforward. If you um, if you meet the requirements, you're a nonprofit, you have a website, um, the application may just take uh, a couple of hours to fill. You need to uh, you need to fill uh, your the mission of your organization, what you are going to uh, what you're going to do with those accounts where you who you're going to give these accounts to. That is very important. How, in other words, how are you going to distribute these accounts, what they will be used for? And uh, if uh, you have to know uh, the target of DataCam. So DataCam has uh, some targets, which are uh, people, for example, affected from COVID. Uh, there's, a, I think, there's an age limit, uh, Nathaniel. And um, uh, I also think uh, the, the the recipients of these accounts should be uh, people unemployed or people uh, vulnerable individuals. So not giving free accounts for people who who can pay those accounts. <laughs> And um, if you if you meet these requirements, the the application is very easy, very straightforward. Yes, as you could see here, these are the type of people we want our data camp donates partners to give licenses to: people who are unemployed or underemployed, uh, refugees, a victim of war, environmental disaster, people with disabilities, or other or members of other historically disadvantaged communities. Students sixteen to twenty six. We've also introduced. Uh, country specific pricing as well. Uh, so now it's even more affordable depending on where you live. But at the end of the day, um, we want to try to, uh, your people who purchase DataCamp are the ones who act, uh, who, who make DataCamp donates possible. Okay, another question. Is this limited to Africans, Nigerians? What are the benefits value of after this data camp program? Yeah, so absolutely. Uh, so maybe you came in late. What Alonzo was talking about, how this program is benefiting women in Ecuador. Uh, but we have so many, many learners in Nigeria. That's probably the country with the that's actually definitely <laughs> the country with the most data camp donates learners. Our flagship partner, Ingressive for Good, uh, has given out over 10,000 scholarships from one organization um, when we have many other partnerships in Nigeria as well. Um, so please reach out to those part, look at the partners page, reach out to those partners. Um, you will have many options, uh, and we have new partners joining all the time. Um, and also make sure to follow data camp on all social media channels. We, we try to give updates about data camp donates and data camp classrooms every Sunday. Uh, and what are the benefits value of after the data camp program? Well, you 
oftentimes I, you know, obviously people are getting the skills that they need to get new jobs uh, and then they get those jobs or those other successes. But what sticks with me is the thing I hear uh, more often than I initially thought was not just that data camp provides people the knowledge and the skills that they need, but it also helps them get the confidence that they really need to really walk through that door. Um, the way our, our, our instructors are so supportive, the way our exercises are structured and our, with our learn by doing approach, it really meets learners at their own level and encourages them to, to go harder. And, and that comes, and that really boosts courage and, 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 and confidence and in going into that meeting room. And that's a big part of it, right? Making that first impression, which is why programs like New Dimensions are so important. Oftentimes, uh, men are the ones being uh, doing the interviewing, and they may be looking for sub subconsciously somewhat masculine signs of strength uh, when looking for uh, when looking for the right candidate. Uh, we need. It's really important that uh, we can help women. Under, build that confidence up so that they can feel confident enough to share their great ideas, to share their experience, uh, to speak highly of themselves uh, so that and project that confidence that, that someone needs to really get a job. Uh, that's really important as well. Uh, it also, you, and you can also get access to data camp certifications as well. Uh, this is data camp saying this person is ready to be hired as a data analyst, as a data scientist, as a data engineer anywhere in the world right now with this certification. Uh, and that also comes completely free. You also get access to Data Camp Workspace, which is an amazing uh, collaboration tool, uh, a live Jupyter notebook of, where you can code in R and Python, share your work with all, all over the world and create a profile uh, there where it's all linked to. Uh, so the, uh, the applications of Data Camp are really endless, especially because we're constantly adding new content all the time. We have so much new AI content, ChatGPT content on the site. Um, so it's always worth coming back to and seeing something new that we have to offer. But definitely, definitely, I encourage everyone here who's a Data Camp Donates scholar to make getting a certification uh, your, your end goal, your stretch goal uh, for the time. Uh, and Reese, if you could put in a link to Data Camp certifications, that would be fantastic. Okay, we have about five minutes left. We have another question here. Does Data Camp contribute towards helping student clubs and universities to initiate Data Camp tracks, especially helping the university administration understand its applicability in arts fields? I love this question, Humna. Um, you're actually talking to two people who are interested in art. As we know, uh, 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 Alonso here is a musicologist, which is incredible. Uh, I could, uh, that sounds like a whole other webinar. I'd love to have you on for me myself. My background is actually in theater. I, I'm, an, I'm an actor and I got my my degree in theater education. So I've actually been teaching theater. And one of my favorite things when I see data camp classrooms applications come in is when they're not for math or science related uh, classes. They're for are an art class or they're for uh, a, a literature class or they're for um, or they're for a sports related class or, or, or things like that, uh, because everything because uh, art is data, right? And, and it can be analyzed in that way. So I'm always really, especially fascinated with the way arts teachers can incorporate data into their work. Um, so yes, absolutely. If you are a student club, apply to Data Camp Donates. Tell your teachers to apply for Data Camp Classrooms. That way, all of your students can get on Data Camp for free. And if it turns out really, really great, uh, and the administrators at your school take a notice and say, actually, this would be great for not just our teachers and students, but for our financiers, our admissions people, our financial aid people, the people who are actually drowning in the data to use, then they can inquire about purchasing Data Camp for Universities, an unlimited enterprise academic plan with, uh, with cheaper rates for qualified academic institutions. So no matter what you want to do, whether uh, whether student clubs want to get access and spread it to their students, whether teachers want to get access and give it to their their uh, their, their their students or whether the whole school wants to get buy it and give access to everyone. Data Camp has a free to very affordable options for all. I hope that answers your question. OK, and we have just a nice uh, comment. From Vincent, hello, I'm viewing from Nigeria and I'm a beneficiary of the Data Camp license and scholarship to learn data analysis. I'm really grateful to be part of this community. Thank you, Data Camp. Uh, and we thank you, Vincent. Thank you so much for the kind word. We really, really appreciate it. Okay, 
So we have about three minutes left. I'm going to... Um, ask you one more question here, Alonso. So when does the next New Dimensions cohort start? How can Ecuadorian women apply? Thank you. Uh, hopefully the next cohort will start uh, next year and the application process will start in November. So please check our website. Um, um, you can, let me, I, I can't write uh, so I can just see the chat, but I cannot write on the chat. But uh, I can send the uh, the website new. It's new dimensions. Uh, yeah, he, ha he has it. Yeah, new dimensions academy. So check that website if you uh, uh, around uh, November. So we we'll, by that date uh, we will probably publish. Um, uh, the the new application process amazing thank you so much uh one last question uh i am a member of women in data am i eligible for this program yes women in data we have a wonderful partnership if you are a member of women in data uh you can redeem a data camp donate scholarship uh they also have special programs so that if you are in need and cannot afford the cost of a data of a women in data uh, membership that they will provide it for you uh, completely free of charge. Um, so by all means, uh, go to the Women Data website, reach out to your chapter lead so you can get access. So you actually should be able to redeem it right there in the dashboard. We actually recently did a blog, uh, shared a blog post all about this in uh, on our on our social media channels. So let me see if I could find that blog post for you. There you go. Thank you for the kind words, Kumbo. And thank you all for attending. Thank you, Alonzo. And thank you, Reese, the man behind uh, the curtain, uh, controlling it all with the strings. You did a fantastic job. Um, definitely follow us on LinkedIn for more updates. I would love to see you apply, and I would love to see more Data Camp Donates applications uh, come in. If this is the way you found out about Data Camp Donates, definitely let me know. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thank you, Maria Jose, and uh, see you in the next.